Hello everyone and welcome to my Let's Play for Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Platinum. This is part 19 uh, and we have reached the midway point of this scenario, Broom Lake. Uh, we have our VIP arriving on the 21st of July, so in another year or so. And uh, we need to repay the loan, which is the bad part of the scenario, I guess. And uh, the loan we have is 8000 so... We have 6,185, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put some ad campaigns for the park right now because who doesn't love a good ad campaign? Uh, national newspaper is usually pretty good. Uh, I usually maybe do one for like every every newspaper just to see how it does. Um, I wouldn't overuse them though. Uh, it's a good way to get guests into your park quick, I guess, but I wouldn't overuse it because if you do. Good for you, fucking Clint Pushton. He's here? God damn it. Uh, if you do, then you'll find that you get less and less people to the point where you're spending like 1500 bucks for two people coming in. Seems to really like people named Monica. I don't know why. Good for you, Clint. I don't give a shit. He probably just sighted someone's upchuck on their path because we have like zero janitors in this park. I literally have no idea where he is. Where is he? He's just. I don't know. Uh, he's in this tunnel fucking somewhere. Anyway, I'm gonna speed it up to see. There we go, yeah, see. So the ad campaigns have had a. Oh, I haven't upped this. Uh, I think I can charge probably about 20 bucks for it now with the amount of rides we're getting. So. They didn't get a whole lot of money for that, but we have more people. So. Uh, sorry for this. This one is probably going to be a little slow. Thank you. I don't have to keep receiving all these fucking updates. Uh, this part is probably going to be a little slow because, yeah, like I said, most of it is just waiting around to pay this stupid loan back because yeah it takes it takes absolutely forever because I didn't realize that I hadn't set the price on the gate so that's probably pretty bad you're not gonna make a whole lot of money doing that this is one of the parks where you really probably should you really probably should set an entrance fee for the gates because you really need it to complete this. It's really going to help you out. <laughs> Fucking once again, novelty t-shirts has broken down, and I don't understand how. Oh shit, we ran out of the men's small in this design of shirts. Fucking mechanical breakdowns all over our hands here, people. Like, I, I don't get it. Okay, let's try one more ad campaign here. Let's try Parenting Magazine for two weeks and see what we do. It's the cheapest one. I think the demographic comes into it as well, where um, parks that are more... Uh, basically they cater more to teenagers, it's going to be like more, you, the college newspaper is obviously going to bring in more people, whereas if it's a kid, more of a kid park, parenting magazine is your better bet. The national newspaper I don't think makes a difference. The campaign finished and not a single person was brought in. That is some fucking bullshit. Jesus Christ. This video is gonna be so fucking long. <laughs> the 
people are even fucking lethargic. They can barely walk into the park anymore. They're like, Brrr. Okay, and we're back. I finally made uh, a little bit over 8,000. Uh, I've been sitting here for probably a good 15 minutes. I fucking hate this scenario so much. Um, you basically just have to find the right combination of building new rides so people will still show up and not spending enough money. Or not spending too much money that you're going to go bankrupt all the time. And I had so much time to wait here that I renamed everything. Uh, I renamed the lovely park Testicle Canyon because that's what it's become to me. Uh, this lovely thing has become much better ways to spend your money. This one over here is the Steel Penis. How much do we charge for the Steel Penis? We charge $3 for the Steel Penis. Over here we have the lovely Anti-Gravity. Well, not really. Here we have Bumper Cars. That's literally it. It's just bumper cars. In here, we got Space Cinema, now showing the beloved classic, Robot Monster, because everyone knows that. Lights and stuff. Not a theme park attraction, but whatever you assholes will spend money on works. And then finally over here, we have the star jewels of our theme park, Buttfuck 1 and Buttfuck 2. Anyway, now that we got that lovely business out of the way, let's finally pay back this fucking loan and make it to the tycoon level. Congratulations, you've shown what it takes to be an entrepreneur, but can you make it to the tycoon level? We've been awarded a large amount of cash, and like I said before, you can take as much money as you want. So we have... 21 grand, and the only thing we have left to complete is... Now, yeah, well, I don't even need to build a roller coaster. Clint Bushton just arrives the 17th of August. So, I didn't even need to build one in the end. Yeah, eh, speed that shit up and get it done. This is a scenario that falls under the really annoying why do I have to fucking wait for everything to happen? Uh, because it really is one of these really slow build-up wait scenarios that could be an absolute bitch. If you, like I said, build too much at the beginning, it would that 10 minutes that I had to wait would have literally turned into like 50 minutes. It, it shouldn't even... This scenario isn't a good one. It's not one of my favorites, as you can tell. Uh, I don't like the layout of the park. I don't like the objectives of the park. <laughs> They're highly bumper cars. That's literally all this is is low. Consider more frequent expansions. It's fucking bumper cars. I don't care. But yeah, the combination of the scenario objectives, the fucking terrain that goes all over the place, and the constant need to wait and have to balance things is just a nightmare for me anyway. I like parks where you build them up really quick. And this is definitely not one of them. Clint, just go the fuck home. Let's complete this scenario. You need some shade? Get the fuck back to your house. I mean, God, what the hell does he do other than just wander around and look like a douchebag? I bet you did. I bet you would like that movie, Clint, wouldn't you? Get out of my park. Hershey Storm Runner, yeah. If I ever actually build one of those in one of these... Frickin' scenarios, just shoot me now. VIP is leaving the park. Thank you, Clint. Get your ass out. And there we go. We're a true tycoon because we sat here and waited for 20 minutes. New coaster design is now available, and we have now completed this... Whoa. We've now completed this lovely Broom Lake scenario. So, I'm sure that everyone completely enjoyed that. And we've unlocked Island Hopping.
Which, yeah, it's okay. But that's for another time. Next scenario, we have the Valley of Kings. Uh, one set in Egypt, and thankfully this one is a lot shorter, if I remember. Nice after. That's, that's fucking great. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video, whenever that is. Alright, thanks.